And so maybe the last thing I want to talk about with you guys today is mm -hmm. related to this little application here, and you may be curious as to what a gear yeah, manager is. Yeah, of course, is. we all are. And of course, the gear manager is the software that helps to manage our first wearable technology device, which is called the Galaxy Gear. And the Galaxy Gear, first of all, you wear it like a watch, and for purposes of this demo, I'll just have it off my wrist sure. here. But we, we thought about what are some of the transactions that happen that where it could be better served by having you know more immediate access to it or something that's on your wrist and close at hand yeah. and so some of those examples in addition to yes it tells the time might be to take a quick picture and so you can see that I've sort of enabled the camera yeah. there's a two megapixel camera on the front of the device and I could take a picture or take a short video and be able to share that with the with the phone awesome. and that is the one thing I think I want to make clear about our first iteration is that it's really a companion device to our high-end smartphones. Yes. To start with, that's tied to the Note 3, but for Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, and Note 2 customers, we'll be pushing out software updates to let you take advantage of the Galaxy Gear as well. Awesome, awesome. Now, is there any ETA that you might be able to let us know in on for the first update for the Galaxy Gear? The first update for for the, the, the next device will be the Galaxy S4, and that will be in the November time frame. Okay. And the rest of them will come out literally within a few days of cool. each other. Cool. Once that starts And that happen. will actually yeah. enable them all to be compatible with the Galaxy Gear. That's right. That's because fantastic. you need to have certain, you know, I guess, um, you need to have certain software updates, and including uh, running Android 4.3 yeah. to be able to support the device. That's right. Some compatibility software. That's right. Awesome. So other other examples of things you might want to do is be able to make a call. So actually, if I if I swipe up on the device, it actually does create a dialer, a dialer that I can actually use because it has a microphone and a speaker built in, so mm -hmm. I can actually make calls off the device. And for those who are wondering whether they have to get all Dick Tracy or Star Trek <laughs> or whatever your um, you know your sort of latest um, scientific sci-fi yeah. reference happens to yeah, be. Yeah. No, you don't really. I mean, really, okay. the, the mic and the speaker phone are powerful enough that it's almost like using a regular speaker phone would be. Awesome. That kind of distance that you might have to a smartphone okay. is about the distance that you could have with the mic and the, and the speaker good. on this device as well. That's cool. That's cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Now, you also said that um, this is actually wa uh, weather resistant. It is. So we're not going to have to worry about getting a nice fancy smartwatch and going out into the rain <laughs> and end up buying a new one the very next day. Sure. It's weather resistant and yeah. the, the actual actual material is like uh, you know a blend of of sort of plastic and rubber that uh, it, you know is enabling this to be fairly you know uh, intended for active use it's intended to be used outdoors it's intended to be used in different conditions I'm gonna say the scuba divers you know probably need to set it aside it's not for for you know being able to submerge and use it that way but it is certainly weather resistant okay so so even if we wanted to jump into the pool it might not be a great idea that may not be the best okay idea. okay right. okay but just caught to be in the occasional rainstorm or yeah taking it on a walk or warranty will not getting a little sweaty those things are right. gonna be fine okay That's okay right. okay cool fair enough yeah. fair enough yeah and it also takes notifications that you can set up on the device itself in terms of which notifications the ones that are you know going to be more popular will be around email and and instant messaging so you'll get a little note here and be able to re re you can reply to it using voice commands okay or you can actually direct the notification back to the device and be able to navigate it that way okay it now does, we'll be able to use um, email applications third parties like from Google uh, Gmail so and right, so on so right now the email is just the email client here but we'll, okay. we intend to expand that okay okay yeah. good to know good to yeah. know and then the S voice command, um, these are, there are about 11 commands that this will understand, sort of check contacts or check the weather. There are some, other, and also, as I said, respond to the voicemail, uh, or I mean, re respond to, to messages or mm -hmm. notifications that you get or initiate a call. Those okay. are the primary reasons for doing the S voice. Okay. Um, be able to create a quick memo. You're able to um, sort of navigate the pictures that you've taken on the device. Mm -hmm. You can control the music player on your phone from the device. Cool. You can count steps using the pedometer. Now um, that would tie in with the S Health application that we've absolutely. seen from the S4. Okay, absolutely. great, great. And then there are, are different settings in terms of brightness in the background and, and whether you want a sound or a vibration notification to come to the, to the watch. The camera I, I've already sort of talked about and then there are certain apps. The apps that you get to are through this um, gear manager, mm -hmm. and there's a subset of the Samsung App Store that is just for the gear. Okay. And so when you fire that up, you'll see that there's a list of different categories that we're adding to all the time. Great, great. Yeah. Now I know I remember before you were mentioning that um, uh, in the future you guys will be releasing the SDK. 
That's correct. Um, though at the moment, uh, we're not going to be able to see anything push to the Play Store. At the moment, it's still sort of a, a Samsung to developer relationship. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because I think at, at this first generation, we want to learn what people are going to use, and we want to be able to measure that experience pretty specifically. So okay. we're going to do that. I mean, I think that um, you know, over time, we've announced the intention to make a more universal set of devices for other Android uh, devices that are out there. But right. for right now, it's just those four devices device families that I talked about and right, the gear. Right, great. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, the last and uh, most important question is, um, does the Galaxy Gear come with uh, live wallpapers? Uh, not live <laughs> wallpapers, but you can customize. Which good stuff, good, good stuff. Right. Thank awesome. You. Well, Ken, thank you very much. I really appreciate, yeah, great to appreciate talk to you. the uh, really great invitation to talk as to you. always. Lots of great devices coming from Samsung Canada. Uh, expect them on October the 4th. You guys can go and pick them up in the store. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.